up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so today is basically a get it all done with me i will be doing laundry i will be cooking and i'll be doing a little bit of cleaning in the kitchen you guys i hate doing laundry what's your number one chore that you hate doing the most i do feel like laundry is a never-ending chore here I, as you guys can see i had to refold that towel I want my towels to fit a certain way in the kids' bathroom on their rack, so I have to roll and fold them. Also, you guys, if you want your comment featured in the video, make sure you use hashtag myjazzyfam in the comments so I know that it's real. had a load of the twins clothes in the dryer so I'm gonna go ahead and fold their clothes and actually throw in their second load which is just a dirty clothes basket right now just so that their dirty clothes basket doesn't get too full to where I'm doing laundry like I'm doing right now double <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do theirs and then put all their stuff away I did end up putting Aiden's stuff in his drawers a little bit different as you guys are about to see So you guys, I roll Aiden shorts because he has so many and I just roll them up and I feel like it's easier for them to fit into the plastic dresser. And I also seen another YouTuber put their shirts upside right, so I do that. But I also separate his pajamas. Like I put shorts with shorts, pants with pants, and shirts with shirts. I do the same thing with Ava. The only difference with hers, I don't stand her clothes up because her, some of her clothes like silky PJs and stuff like that and it just don't stand up. Who else has a man that goes in there and <laughs> knock over all the clothes that you have? That's why I just had to re-fold that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and hang up the little clothes that Ava has that needs to be hung up in here. Ava's hang-up clothes are actually in Amaya's closet for those that are curious. Um, her closet's a little bit bigger than Ava's closet, so I just hang up her clothes and his clothes in there. It makes my life so much easier. So this is the last load that I will be doing for the twins. This is just a dirty clothes basket that they had like just now. <laughs> it's not a lot of clothes, but hey, that's how I like it. I like it short and quick and easy for me. guys so it's been closer to dinner time so I'm gonna go ahead and take out the chicken that I had sitting out that was defrosting and I'm gonna rinse it off and go ahead and start prepping dinner for tonight watching peaches if you're not familiar with her channel her channel is peaches mcintyre i love her channel she's also pregnant you guys and i love supporting other youtubers she is so sweet and she is almost due and yeah y'all should go over to her channel and subscribe let her know y'all came from my channel i do like to coat my chicken with mustard it gives it that golden look and also i don't know i just got it for my mom to be completely honest how do y'all make y'all's chicken what do y'all coat y'all's chicken with comment down below and let me know all right so the last load of laundry that i have planned for doing today is amaya's clothes i was gonna do kaylin's but i feel like I'll, it'll be easier for me if i just do her clothes all tomorrow and that way i only have one load of laundry to do she didn't have a lot of clothes as you guys can see in her dirty clothes basket i found a hack if, if you use a small basket you guys are more likely to have less clothes to wash
I've been getting a lot of questions about my can opener and you guys, I love it. I actually got it from, I think it's called Mama's Kitchen. It's, but I believe you can also find it on Amazon. A lot of people are saying that's where they got theirs. Um, when I first got it, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I didn't know what I was doing. I could not get the can open, but to be completely honest, the can was already open. It was open. The can was open and you didn't have to all you had to do was just pop it right off. Also, you guys, I want to say this. Some people say you should drain your green beans, but I feel like it's easier. I don't have to add water. I literally just use the juice that comes in and it just kind of, you know, boils down. But I went ahead and also flipped the chicken just so that both sides can get a good, nice cook. And then after that, it was time to make the kids' plates. I actually didn't make mine right away because I wanted to clean the kitchen and get everything all clean. That way, that's one less chore I have to do. Although my twins are not a fan of any kind of greens, I add it anyway. Sometimes I might get lucky and they might try it like the rice. They got so, I got lucky and they tried it and loved it. I love it. <laughs> Come here, mama. Like I said, I want to take the time out and hurry up and clean and wash all these dishes before, you know, I got able to sit down and start editing. I just feel like if I hurry up and do them and get them out the way, get the kitchen clean, it's one less chore that I have to worry about, you guys. All I do is rinse them, to be completely honest, and then I throw them into the dishwasher and let the dishwasher do its work, okay? Don't sleep on a dishwasher. For some people, they're like, oh no, it doesn't clean your dishes. Well, first you gotta wash them off, rinse them off, and then throw them in the dishwasher. So this spray is not a method spray, y'all. It's actually a Mr. Clean, and the scent is so amazing. I cannot remember the name of it, but it's so good. And I am trying this new top spray for the stove just so I can get that grease and extra gunk off the stove. And to be completely honest, I feel like it does an amazing job. Um, I actually got it from HEB, nowhere special. I'm pretty sure you have it at your local grocery store as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to use the hashtag in the comment section so I know it's real. And I will catch you guys in our next video. Over, still getting nowhere, yeah.